to get a hold of yourself. Welcome back to the channel. I'm finally out at Red Rock for an outdoor session. A lot of you who have been watching the channel for a long time know that I rarely go outside, and there are a lot of things that I learned in this first session of the season. Mainly that filming outside is super hard. <laughs> the ground is super uneven compared to the gym. But don't you worry, I'm going to practice my outdoor filming with as much enthusiasm as my outdoor climbing, and by the end of the season we're going to be making some super buttery climbing vids. I actually got recognized in the parking lot this day by some super chill climbers named Nick and Katie, so I tagged along with them on their way to Westcraft. I guess I'm getting pretty famous in LV these days. Better watch out, rock entry. <laughs> but in this video, Nick is going to walk us through a super classic, Sorange V3, and then some more crew members arrive and we try a really fun V4, V5 called Welcome to Detroit and then they give some goes on a VA called Spinning Venom. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my first outdoor sesh of the season. Yeah. So Nick, can you tell us a little bit about this climb, Sorange V3, right? I think it's just a classic of Westcraft. Yeah? Yeah, it's not as polished. I mean, it's more polished than it was a couple of years ago because people were starting to come out here. But right. I mean, still just really good texture on the holds, fun movement. Yeah. Really straightforward vertical climbing. You don't get a whole lot like this in this like small of a duration, especially standalone. Yeah, yeah. Like when it's like just by itself in the middle of the Dude. rock is like, that's that's the best kind, I think. That was super smooth, yeah. man. Good job. <laughs> Let's give it a burn. Katie, we got to send this thing. All right, it's your <laughs> turn. <laughs> Nice dude, come on. Hold on, I gotta throw a left come on. up. Oh, good job. That's good it. Good job. Good, work your hands up. That's it, man, lean back into it. My fingers are not warmed up. Come on, you're doing great. There you go, go get it. Go. Okay. Good job. Yeah, I just gotta throw for the jug. Yeah. That was your warm up. <laughs> That's good. That's cool, dude. The holds are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be looking at beta videos. But as long as you like lean into it, like you were saying, I think we'll send it. Good texture, right? Yeah, what do you think, Katie? Yeah, it's all hard to me. <laughs> <laughs> So right. Nick, what would you say the main difference between indoor and outdoor bouldering is? I mean, the feet aren't all massive, yeah. you know, texturized pieces of plastic. Nice. So called out that's colors. A, that's a, yeah, not a lot of colors. <laughs> but I mean, you can use anything too. I mean, right. That's the cool thing is anything you want to use, you can use. You could smear so, and whatever. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, that's the biggest difference is the feet. I mean, hands you can get used to a little bit faster. Most people have trouble with the feet. Yeah, yeah. After almost getting the flash on this damn thing, the feet were exactly what I was having trouble with. It's hard to get your body positioning correct when you don't know where to weight your foot. After a couple of failed attempts to figure out my beta, I went back to Nick to see if he could hook a brother this up. This one which is a little bit more straight up and down, and this one as well, which is a little bit better than both those. It might spread you out a little bit further, but you might be able to kind of lean to the right a little bit more. Yeah, it's always hard to like find feet when you're outside. Like these do have a little bit more of a lift that you could see there. So even with the right foot beta, I was still having trouble. So back to oh. Nick we go. All right, Nick, I think I'm having the most trouble bringing my feet up. Um, can you show me your beta just like super quick? You don't have to climb it, just walk me through it. I can climb it. I mean, really you're just going for this foothold. Okay. That's the money it's, shot. And like you can see how it's like a little blacker right there yeah, and they're totally. all around it. You can tell that's where everybody's sticking their foot and it's yeah. a really good foothold because it's got like 
just the slightest uptick to it so you can kind of toe into it real full right side full oh then you go left and bring the feet up okay yeah back flagging the right foot and you catch this yeah you give it a little <laughs> okay okay so you got to give it a little flare at the top yeah i think my mistake is that i was trying to bring feet up before going to that higher left side pull okay i know the beta now time to send <laughs> All right, so obviously I'm a little sucky at outdoor climbs. It's a lot different for sure. Everything feels a lot harder. You're kind of pulling harder than you should be. The feet are non-existent. I mean, they're there obviously, but when you're an indoor climber, it's hard to know what's what. But my friends Kay and Matt just got here and Kay flashed monkey wrench last season. I got it on film for a Sunday Sends episode back then. And Matt is a really strong double digit climber who runs a YouTube page and website called Bouldering Hawaii. And he has put up a lot of first ascents on the big island. So uh, let's go see how we do with this new crew. Once we had more of a crew there, the psych was definitely higher. And I think the difference on the Sengo is that I was able to weight my right foot and keep that foot on while I matched that top rail. And from there, it was just going up to the big jug and cutting feet a little bit for some flare. <laughs> Gotta get the fist bump on camera. Hell yeah, brother. Good job, dude. <laughs> As the sun set, we hopped on a V4, V5 called Welcome to Detroit. It was good to have strong people like Matt around to show me the beta, and you can see that he makes easy work of the moves, even in approach shoes. One of my main goals this season is to film some classic boulders from different angles. Quite often you look up beta videos on YouTube, and they're always stationary shots on a tripod, which is totally cool, you know, but it's hard to judge the three-dimensionality of a boulder that way, and even harder to study the holds. So I'd really like to challenge that a little bit this year with some of my videos because these boulders are just so multifaceted. Nick made easy work of this boulder too. You have a really good start hold and feet, but there's some micro beta involved to bring that left heel up before throwing out left and getting on the slabby part of the boulder here. Here's Kay demonstrating what the first right hand hold looks like. good part of the red. But even when you do hit it, this left heel is no joke. Kay does a really good job here of externally rotating the heel and really rocking her weight over onto it. And you notice that she's keeping that right leg super straight the entire time. The slabby part looks a little sketch for sure, but as long as you weight your feet, it should be no problem. I gave it a few goes and I almost felt like I lacked the hip mobility to do the move. And I'm glad that I wasn't the only one having trouble with it. By this point I was hitting all the moves and Kay gave me some really good advice to stand up fully into my right foot as much as possible to allow room for that left heel and it worked yeah. like a charm. Stand up, rock onto that, that left foot, there you go. The slabby part here wasn't so much of a problem for me with my height but yeah it definitely feels good to send oh, outdoor that. boulders. <laughs> Hell yeah dude! We did it. Nice work, Miguel!
Up next, the Strong Kids worked on a problem called Spit and Venom V8 near the Syringe Boulder. And by this time the sun had set and it turned into a full on night sesh. But I'm not going to spend too much time on this boulder because there was no send this night. But my friend Kay is determined to send this Esser project and you can bet your ass that I'm going to be the one to get some epic send footage when she ticks it off. The problem itself looks very hard and crimpy. And before I packed my bags up and hiked on out for the night, I ran into some familiar faces. So let's close out the vid with one more epic send of Welcome to Detroit V4 V5. Alright everybody, this is Sophia. You've seen her on my sessions videos. <laughs> and she just sent her project. Sophia, Yay! walk us through that. What happened there? Uh, nothing much. I mean, I basically had most of the moves down yeah. um, the first time I tried it. And I was really close. Uh -huh. um, but last time when I was here, I hit the wrong hold. The, and then the hold um that was really good was like right above where i was yeah so i couldn't pull myself out of that um heel or heel hook and toe and get into a toe hook to yeah. stand up but today i was able to reach farther no, yeah that looked textbook <laughs> send it was yeah. amazing I got you, girl. You got it. I Are got you. you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Good job, Sophia. Oh Yay! Woo! <laughs> That's my girl! Yay! Uh, wow, that didn't feel hard. Ozzy, Damn. it seems that when I'm around, you can't send, but <laughs> when I'm around, Sophia can send. I know, man. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> Yay! Good job, Sophia. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Try the light on uh, you. Yeah, everybody. The light. The light's right there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stay liked and subscribed and we'll see you on the next episode. Woo! Yeah, Woo! Sophia. Good job, babe. Sweet.